Did you know 22 days before I was born, there was a paper written. This paper is about epifluorescence before epifluorescence was like a thing. So they use ultraviolet induced autofluorescence. This is epifluorescence. Okay. And this paper is 1981 or 1982, excuse me, 22 days before I was born. Um, this is Elaine Ingham's. She wrote this. Obviously she's using microscope that was a university microscope because of the mercury vapors, the danger of that. And you would never want to bring this into a home. Notice at the bottom there, they're still referencing this in 2008. So this is important. She did important work, but like so many of us in grad school in in, in getting our PhD or doctorate, that's, we just did the work because that's where we were in that time and place. Elaine Ingham also did a, uh, some incredible breakthrough work in uh, marine biology and she almost did ocean work kind of crazy right you know alternative reality elaines are something that i think about sometimes um same thing with myself you know i was a professional musician uh, if we hadn't left new york city i would still be in the band that uh, i had to find the replacement for myself i had to find the replacement for myself because they wouldn't let me go they wouldn't fire me they would fly me across the u.s to rehearse on bass Yes. It's it hard to quit, right? And so I found the person that was perfect for the job. And that was 2007. And they're still in the job. So I would still have that job right now. And you guys would be watching like everyday. Well, everyday ritual is over now. But you would have watched and seen me on there over and over and over again. Um, that would have been my life. We would have been gone to Tuscany every single year with Rachel Ray and John. That would have been my life. They thought I was crazy for leaving that life because they're like, you know, you, you just stick with us and we just have fun the rest of life. I was 18 when I met John. I was, he was like an older brother and Rachel's like my aunt. So we're not related or anything, but, but, but for real though, like I could have stayed there. That could have been Matt. And I think about Elaine like the same way. She could have been a marine biologist she could have been like saving the oceans right now, but instead she decided to do soil specifically with nematodes. You became a nematodologist. Do you guys know that? She's a nematodologist. That's what her field is. And so, and so she did this work and then, then moved on. But what if she actually followed that path? This is the fun one for today, okay? So what if Elaine Ingham Follow the mycorrhizal epifluorescence path in the 80s. Where would she be now? Right? She would be the fungal mycorrhizal queen and right. And she would she would be like like Mike Amaranthus, but bigger. It's pretty wild to think about. But she also planted that seed for 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 me and my heart when I began at soil and what's so wild, she planted this seed in this paper right before I was born for me to find underneath the description of this microscope and that seeing her name there and reading the article got me so excited that I bought this microscope. That's the reason you guys, it was that, serendipitous knowing you know you feel it in your heart it hits you and you're like whoa wow this is like something left in the path of my mentor and now it's here in this new form and we're going to talk about that right now because you know it was mercury vapor and the lamps only lasted 2000 hours and they'd explode so you had to take it out before it was used up. So you're timing the usage. Whoa. Very different than now, okay? Re and there's only one company I know of that does this. It's LW Scientific. It's the only company I know, but, but you can adapt this to anything, right? Um, there's adapters. 
because this is a standard um uh this right here is standard the the ad adapter on this and so you can you can figure out how to use this this unit but it's led there's no vapor there's no the the the, the how many of you have leds in your house and it's not it's cyan blue but it's not going to destroy your eyes that's why there's no shield a lot of these uv lights that people are using to do mushroom hunting you know some of them are are messy in terms of the light it's like pollution hurts your eyes you get a headache it feels like you're hot your eyes are hot mm -hmm. this is not okay this is safe which is an incredible thing because you just pull this little arm here doo -doo -doo. you see that blue flash i'll do it again do you see that blue there that's the filter not being filtered now it's being fully filtered do you see that it's a cyan blue light it's 490 uh, nanometers um uh wavelength to be precise now imagine you get this email okay you got the microscope you saw your mentor's name on it. You started using it. Uh, your friend's doing DNA sequencing. You're learning all this at the same time. You're kind of like in like crunch mode. There's been like some crazy, terrible and hard personal things that have happened. You've like saved your family. And now you, you like you're doing all this work. You're working so hard. And then you get this email. This is Mike Thomas from LW Scientific, and he says, Hi, Matt. Wanted to let you want to check with you first. Dr. Lane and her assistant, Carla, are working on their fluorescence imaging, and I'm working with them to improve their images. It seems that you are creating some amazing fluorescence images, and I wondered if it would be okay for me to forward this email with the two images corn seedling for them to reference to show them how good it can be. And it was like a mic drop right it was like a Kong. i was like what is holy cow okay I okay so i guess i'm really on to something and then i remember the article i'm like wow so it was mercury vapor so she she was like mm, i want to stay healthy and she didn't mess with it wow okay so no one and then i started doing searches and i realized no one was using epifluorescence other than certain universities, and it was all the mercury vapor. So no one had this technology. No one was using it in a functional way because of the mercury vapor lamps and the fact that they were $30,000 up until recently. Mine was 6000 with a discount, a 40% discount. My students that sign up now get a 50% discount on that, plus all the goodies that I use, uh, like the condenser, um, the dark field condenser, the extra objective, all of it, all 50% off. But I realized the responsibility I had in that moment. I was like, whoa, whoa. I needed to like double all my efforts. I need to triple my all my efforts, go deeper than I've ever gone and verify everything and find the experts because I'm on the cutting edge so far out there that my mentor is learning from me. I didn't anticipate that to happen so quickly. The message I got through meditation and prayer about this is it's our story now. The timing of it, the, the way it's an offshoot and she let it go. Way, the, and I do this too. I've made suggestions for things and ideas I've spun and then let it go. And then people have made it real and then brought it to me and be like, I did it. And I'm like, that's amazing. And it's something I said in a video like this, and then they turned it into a business. And I realized that's how good teaching is. The best teachers are always going to have students that go beyond them. I learned that in, in, in high school when John Carippo was teaching photography and film and his students were way better than him. And I was like, what are you doing? How did you do that? How is that even like possible? And he was like, you know, it's not osmosis that we're doing, right? It's like, I'm not like uh, giving you like my abilities or my skill. Like that's not how it works at all. There's a process and a pattern. And 
you follow it and you go through it with them and they start teaching themselves and they start growing and they take off if you do it right. And then the sign of you doing it right is they start teaching you. The highest level of teaching of learning is teaching, Matt. And it was one of the most profound lessons that I ever learned. And that's why in my classroom, I would have the students finish their 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 learning uh, projects and everything by teaching the class what they learned. They became the teachers. They presented, stand and deliver. So it's here for us. These opportunities, these growth moments, it is here for us to to be able to access, to be able to, to connect with for you, for me, and for our communities. And that's why I share so much and share how it's not just, I mean, I'm writing books and teaching people how to use this in all these different ways. Okay. And I want that to happen. I want it to spread. And, 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 and that's why I feel so strongly about all this.